Water problem in agriculture. 98% of the total water usage in Malaysia came from rivers. And the agriculture industry contributes 70% of those water usage. There is a pattern over the years where good quality water is decreasing. And it creates a huge higher quality water scarcity. Hence, water treatment costs plummeted due to increased pollutants which also increase water pollution. One of the most affordable way to combat this problem is using an EM mud ball. So how do you make an EM mud ball? Here's what you need. There are two steps that we need to do. First is the fermentation of EM solution. And second will be the making of the actual mud ball. So, for the fermentation of EM solution, you need 50 ml of EM solution, 50 ml of molasses, and 800 ml of water. Pour in 50 ml of EM solution into an empty container, then pour 50 ml of molasses with the EM solution. Add water to the mixture. and wait for a week for it to ferment. Now, we can continue with making the mud ball. You need 2 kg of topsoil, 100 to 200 g of bokashi, the fermented EM solution, plastics, gloves, and empty egg carton. You need to mix both topsoil and bokashi together. Making sure all part of the soil is well mixed. Pour in the EM solution in the soil mix. Mix all the soil and solution mix by hand until it looks like a dough-like texture. Roll the mixture into a small ball. The rolled ball is set aside to be air dry for a few weeks. This is the finished EM mud ball. So, it's time to taste it in a pan. We are going to take about a bucket full of the dirty pond water. The dirty water will be kept in a glass aquarium so that we can see how it will change in a few days. We are going to dump in the EM mud ball. This is the water condition after day 1. This is the results after day 3. There's a little bit of difference. This is the results after a week. We can clearly see a huge difference between the day 1 and a week after. Thanks for watching. I hope you understand that there is a way to improve the water problem in agriculture.